Uh, this is another shelf for the lard unit. Right, I'm going to stick this on. Iron's been on for a little while. It's got a ceramic base. As before, I'll stick one end on. Ceramic base doesn't mark. And make sure it's straight and iron towards that end. Just lean it over a little bit, make sure you get the edges. And the ends of course. And then I've got one of these things for trimming it off, but I can't remember how well it cuts. I do remember I had to sharpen the blades when I first got it, so as soon as I'm just doing one, I'm just going to use a blade. Let's trim off the excess first. Oh, that was close. Then holding it flat. Uh, 120 oh. this is the other side My blade in my saw is getting a bit old, but it's still cutting fairly neatly. I've got that one to go in here, just where this joint is. And this is where I need to put that shelf. There's no placement for there's no placement for shelf brackets, so I'm just going to use these little connect connector blocks. Three down each side. Uh, these connector blocks have got three holes built in them, a one and two. I'm putting two against the cabinet. So that's going to be the strength holding the shelf up. The one that goes up just holds the shelf in place. One inch screws, 25mm sixes. Another one at the back.
back there and then three along here. I've set this one back a little bit so that I can get my screwdriver up to get a screw in. I'll just pull it forward a little bit so it's just flush with there and then put a couple of screws in underneath. Uh, I forgot to put a bracket up there in the back corner. I can't get in with two hands to hold it and drill it, so I put some masking tape on, looped it around, made a little cone, and hopefully I can stick that up there. So now that's stuck up there, just with the tape. Get some screws in it. Right, I got them screws in. Double sided tape would have been better, but I ain't got any, so. Just got to fill this up a little bit. Most of the handles are on. Just got to finish these ones off. Uh, I've marked carefully, check my measurements. I'm going to drill through with a very slightly oversized drill for the screws. Block of wood at the back. Stops it breaking out. Could clamp this on, but I can hold it strong enough. I can hold it well enough. Also helps to stop you going through into your fingers. And can you see, using that block of wood, you a very neat hole. Before you put your handle on, remember to take the tape off. I didn't on the fridge. I had to take the fringe door off again when I put the knobs on. That way around. Just before we tighten it up properly, make sure it's straight. Right, they're all on. All the handles are on. I've got a box in these pipes. I've just been able to slip this timber in there. It's not fixed yet. The easiest way to box things in normally is to make your box with with its sides. Like that. Offer it up, cut out where you have to do for pipes, skirting, whatever, and draw a line down. Take that timber off, that timber, and this one maybe. Fix those to the wall, and then put this back on. The face back on, the cover board back on. But this one's a little different. It's going to get fixed permanently, because they're pipes that just run floor ceiling. There's no joints in them. Just had to squeeze these wires in by the side of here. So I'm going to fix that one. Scribe this board to the wall down there because it's going to get fixed permanently, decorated in. There's no intention of taking this off ever, maybe. Just to help me get that straight, using this board, you see, using that as a straight edge. That's pretty much straight. It's an eight foot board, so it's a bit short. So I've got a little off cut there that I'll put at the bottom. I'll lift this one to the ceiling. Now I'm gonna fix this timber to the wall first. And like I say, using this just to make sure that that top end is straight. 
I haven't got any movement in this at all, but it's pretty straight, so it should be alright. Right, that timber's fixed in place. I'll screw this to it temporarily just so that I can scribe it to the shape. Uh, I've just put a couple of screws top and bottom just to hold this board in place. This timber's just sat underneath, it's not fixed, just so that it keeps it the same distance off the wall. I've had to go back to my compasses because my scribers felt a bit. In a way I like these because you can just adjust that easily one handed. The other one's got a knob on that I find really hard to turn. So I might see if I can find some scribers that are like this. Or just put a point on there. It's got a thin slot where I can get a point in maybe. Anyway, I want this to go back hard up against there. So choosing the wide, widest point I'll set that there scribe that in down there and it's a bit awkward there because we've got the arc drive behind it's slightly less than that so I think I'm going to leave that and I'll leave a little gap so we can put some decorative cork in. Oh, I've got a little gap down there. I think that's alright. I fixed this leg in to the board permanently. It's not fixed back to the wall but that's what I was talking about. Make your box, offer it up, put a pencil line down there, pull it away. You can either put a baton behind you know, on the wall here put your box on fix it back to it or in my case in this one I'm just going to drill straight through the face fix it and all these screws and everything will get filled and painted it's got to be very careful putting this screw in because there's a pipe there and wires I know that that button's 30 mil in behind there fix this side back to the wall and put one at the top, one in the middle, one at the bottom and then one in between, so five down there. Right, that'll do. Just needs a bit of cork up there. My dodgy scribing around the top. I used MR MDF so you didn't have to deal with the plywood edges. Just needs a bit of a sand, some filler. That one there. I found nothing. See, there's bricks behind here. The sod slow, I hit a seam or an upright between bricks. So I'll just put another one further down. That's good.